I'm Charlie Stern. This is Red Blue Talk. The city of Mount Vernon, New York has been hit with a significant federal lawsuit because the state DEC and the federal EPA are not happy with the way the sewers are being run. I speak with Mayor Richard Thomas and City Council Member Marcus Griffith. They've got differing views and I'll also step through key points in the lawsuit. That's next. Helpful news analysis on topics that actually matter to you. Get subscribed and hit the bell so you won't miss the next video. Sorry to get a little gross here, but every time you flush the toilet, you're depending on the government to do its job. And uh, that you really shouldn't have to think about very much. The sewer system should just work. Uh, in Mount Vernon, there are infrastructure problems and the sewer system is not working the way it's supposed to work. So in this interview, I asked Mayor Richard Thomas how it got this way. I asked City Council Member Marcus Griffith the same question and they have very differing views. The mayor reminded me of my own experience when I was on the Board of Education in Mount Vernon a bunch of years ago. There were individuals who were willing to deliberately defund or chronically underfund essential services that were required, required by state law or federal law. And, uh, and that, of course, has a, a very terrible effect on everything. They were willing to do this because they simply didn't like the way political power was being distributed. The mayor says that's what's causing the sewers now to finally fail. He points out that the engineering department of the city is unfunded. There's a zero line item in the budget for an engineer and that mandated repairs and reports to the authorities are impossible to deliver because he simply doesn't have the people to do it. On the other hand, Marcus Griffith, the city council member, places the lawsuit at the feet of the mayor. He says that the mayor is the one in charge, he runs the operation, and if basic reports had been done on a timely basis, or at all for the past couple of years, this lawsuit could have been avoided, although he acknowledges that it would still take years to make the repairs necessary to deliver uh, a, a high-functioning sewage system. So there's a real uh, environmental problem emerging and it's a bad political weather system and the missing word is compromise. If the mayor and the city council want to move forward there's going to have to be some kind of a political compromise and uh, otherwise everybody downstream, literally downstream, is compromised. So first of all um, I'd like to uh, thank Mayor Richard Thomas for being a guest on Red Blue Talk and uh, I asked the mayor if he would uh, spend a few minutes talking to us about the uh, federal complaint, the uh, lawsuit that was announced on uh, June 28th by the United States Attorney for the Southern District of New York <coughs> regarding uh, the sewer systems uh, in uh, Mount Vernon. So, um, Mr. Mayor, thank you for being on the program. Well, thanks for having me. And uh, look, it's an important talk. And for a long time, Mount Vernon has not taking it seriously. So just know that I look forward to hopefully getting um, some resolution here, but it's going to be very difficult now that we're in federal court. Well, let's talk about that. That What's the path that brought us to this point? Because, you know, there's a, a lot of things going on. It's a 21-page complaint, and it sounds like uh, the city of Mount Vernon missed some important markers, and maybe that, 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 that might have contributed to why the U.S. Attorney had to take this action. So one of the things they allude to in there is that uh, there were no annual reports filed in 2018 and 2017. Uh, I gather that some work has actually gone on. Um, why wasn't that reported back to the, the authorities? You know, it's complicated. And when you think about um, the work that needs to be done, you can't work without people doing the work. While there may be some things happening and may not be, you know, sufficient, and this is where, you know, we have a situation where the cart has been put before the horse. And as I've stated long ago, before I walked into the office, um, the government was unfunded. Over 80 positions were eliminated before I took office. And this is a combination of political retribution, but also just bad politics. There are people out there that are in government now, and there are people that were in government that made decisions to unfund um, our administration. And, and this is what happens when you have a combination of requirements, be it from the federal government, but also um, other basic necessities that the city has to do. So 
I can tell you that we've done our best to work with what we have, but when you have a scenario where you have people literally working against the success of the city, it's, it's a real tough situation. Mayor, you're alluding to uh, some kind of inside baseball, some sort of internal strife. I gather you're alluding to the city council, um, but I, I guess what I would ask you, if someone is looking from the outside, um, what they see is a federal lawsuit. Uh, the defendant is the city of Mount Vernon. It doesn't say the mayor of Mount Vernon. It doesn't say the city council of Mount Vernon. Uh, it doesn't say the water department of Mount Vernon. It says the city of Mount Vernon. So if you're looking in from the outside, you just want this problem fixed. What do you think that path to resolution looks like? Well, it looks like, you know, exactly what our plans were. Get it done, fix it, and, and follow what the consent order said to do. Um, the EPA and Justice laid out a very simple plan. Phase one is define the problem. Whenever you pick up a project, you have to define the problem. Once you understand what the problems are, then you fix it. So in this case, we have to do various components of televising our sewer system and identifying where there are breaks. When we find breaks, we fix it. But the problem is you can't do any of that work without any money. And as I pointed out when I was talking earlier, you know, the city council, the, the controller, former controller as well, they all took steps to unfund the project. Why would you take steps to eliminate money for a federal mandate? I can't explain it. All I can tell you is it's my job to fix it. Absent of city dollars, I went and got state dollars, grant dollars. But even those grant dollars are inaccessible because the city eliminated funding for the Bureau of Engineering. So when you think about you know, all the little things, some basic assumptions you'll make about a government, you can't make those assumptions here in Mount Vernon because they eliminate anything and everything they can to make it fail when that's the wrong decision to make. But they create the scenario where you have to, you know, explain what's going on, and it's hard for people to believe, but guess what? It's real, and we're going to continue to have to fight through it. Our sewer system is a problem amongst itself. Creating a problem like not doing the reporting to keep the Department of Justice off our backs, that's a simple ask to complete to get them off our backs. He's Why isn't he doing, doing it? it? With all those problems, if I were him, I would want to take care of an easy you, one. You would think so. You're making it sound like it's just a matter of reporting. It's, it's, he should have filed the report. And why, so then why didn't he do it? Because he's negligent. The mayor is negligent. He should have done it. He should have had his staff, his commissioners, to fill out the reports. And he had something to report. But like, again, we've had this problem for years. We've had penetration in the lines, uh, infiltration in the lines for years. We haven't had a problem until now. This mayor knew that this problem was happening. He did not file the reports to say what we were doing. And we did the most work to repair this, this, this problem in the last year, and they don't know about it. That is the problem. It's clearly a problem. And if we set a plan out for the Department of Justice, the EPA, and the, DA, and the DEC, I'm sure they would be fine with it. But Mount Vernon has to say what we're capable of, and they may adjust it. They may say, we want you to do this much more. We expect you to have this timeline. They will adjust it for us, but when you don't report, that's when they come in with lawsuits. Every other community has the same problem. They don't have lawsuits because they continue to file their reports. So what's the we have old infrastructure, many pipes, many lines going many directions, many crosses, infiltrations, and it's going to take time to fix them all. Um, it could be a business that's doing it. It could be an oil company that's doing it. It could be a row of houses that are doing it. It could be piping that was just set up wrong from day one. I know on my block, there's no stormwater line, so I know my stormwater goes into the sewer line. It really shouldn't, but that's the way my block was set up. Quick affiliate link here. This is the Shell D RFID blocking credit card protector. It's got a separate sleeve for your credit cards, driver's license, your Metro card. They won't rub against each other in your wallet. Solves a huge problem. Comes in nine different colors. Costs $9 on Amazon. There's an affiliate link. RedBlueTalk.com slash wallet, and you'll be supporting the show. Thanks. All right, so there are two separate sort of systems. There's the sewer system that carries away what you flush down the toilet, 
And then there's the MS4 system, which conveys storm water and water that runs off of your roof and down your street from a rainfall into a river without treatment. The problem is some of the stuff that's flushed down the toilet is getting into the MS4 system, which is ending up in the Hutchinson River and the Bronx River. That's why there's a lawsuit. This lawsuit is being brought by the United States of America, the state of New York, and Basil Sejos, a commissioner of the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation versus the city of Mount Vernon. We're done with page one. Paragraph one. The Hutchinson and Bronx Rivers are key New York waterways. The Hutchinson River forms in Scarsdale, New York, and flows into the East Chester Bay in the Bronx. The Hutchinson River forms the eastern border of Mount Vernon and winds past Pelham Bay Park, which includes Orchard Beach, the Bronx sole public beach. The Bronx River flows for 23 miles past White Plains, New York, and forms the border between Yonkers and Mount Vernon, divides the East Bronx from the West Bronx, and empties into the East River. Everything hinges on the definition of an MS4. MS4 stands for Municipal Separate Storm Sewer System. Mount Vernon's actions violate the Federal Clean Water Act, the New York Environmental Conservation Law, and the general permit applicable to an MS4. MS4 is a totally different thing from MS13. Blah, 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 bunch of legal mumbo jumbo. And then we start to get into the factual background in paragraph 26. The city owns and operates an MS4 that comprises numerous catch basins in which stormwater is collected. 525,000 feet of pipe connecting segments and approximately 33 outfalls from which stormwater is discharged. An MS4 outwall, outfall is basically a hole in the pipe where the water leads into another body of water. The city's outfalls discharge into Hutchinson and Bronx Rivers, both of which are waters of the United States as well as waters of New York State. Paragraph 28, Mount Vernon originally obtained permit coverage for its MS4 on March 10, 2003. It then got two additional permits in 2010 and 2015. Paragraph 29, the 2010 and 2015 permits require a fully compliant stormwater management program that includes, and this is the key thing here, an illicit discharge detection and elimination program. So you know what illicit discharge is? It's a four-letter word. Paragraph 30, since at least as early as January 2012, the city has not implemented or enforced stormwater management and illicit discharge detection and elimination programs for its MS4. Are you getting the idea here? Now here is the key. Paragraph 31. As a result of its failure to implement an illicit discharge detection and elimination program, there have been numerous occasions when the city's sanitary sewer systems, that is to say the city's sewer system for transporting sewage requiring treatment, which is separate from the MS4, which collects and discharges water, has discharged raw sewage into the MS4. Okay, paragraph 32. The city's sanitary sewer system comprises over 105 miles of piping and associated manholes and transports raw sewage collected from within the city to Westchester County Intercept Trunk Sewer Line, where it is conveyed to the Westchester County Department of Environmental Facilities Yonkers Joint Wastewater Treatment Plant for treatment. You flush the toilet, that's where it's supposed to go not into the Bronx River, not into the Hutchinson River. All right, paragraph 49, this is very important. Furthermore, in addition to failing to undertake the above measures, Mount Vernon has failed entirely to submit the last two annual reports. These are required annual reports when you have these permits. Due in June 18 and June 17, respectively, and submitted each of the four prior reports months late. Paragraph 50. The city's discharge of raw sewage into the waters of the United States and the state of New York resulted from its failure to implement and enforce an illicit discharge detection and elimination program in violation of the MS4 general permit. Okay, so there are some things that weren't happening and eventually the federal government said, you gotta do something. In paragraph 51, 
On February 25, 2014, the EPA issued the city an administrative order requiring the city to develop a plan and explain what they were going to do, and to date they have failed to implement any kind of a response to that order. Paragraph 53, on March 8, 2016, EPA issued a second administrative order, the 2016 order, which included a revised schedule for the remaining compliance deadlines. New deadlines in the 2016 order were developed with the input and verbal agreement of city officials. Paragraph 55, the city failed to comply with the 2016 order. Paragraph 70 specifically says the city has discharged raw sewage via its MS-4 into the Hutchinson and Bronx rivers since at least 2012, including on the occasions described above. So I was at the Hutchinson River today, and I didn't get a perfect picture of it, but you can kind of see from this video that thing floating around there, it's what you think it is, and it's coming out of what I believe is an MS-4 because it's certainly not an intentional sewer pipe because it's letting out in the Hutchinson River. Folks, you're flushing the toilet. It shouldn't be coming out in the Hutchinson River. And although I didn't get a perfect picture of it, I got a perfect smell of it. It's what you think it is.